Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for my 2020 March setup. I'm really excited by the theme I've chosen for this month, partly because I think it's a really lovely design, but also because I'm going to be testing out my watercolours. I'm using the Scribbles That Matter notebook, which has 160 gram paper, which means there shouldn't be any bleeding through even when working wet and wet. And my go-to watercolour set is this small portable one by Windsor & Newton. It also comes with a handy travel size brush, but because I am mainly using my watercolours for background washes today, I am working with these thicker brushes. I start out by masking the outline of my lighthouse as well as the beam of light, then get stuck into my washes. I really wanted it to be one continuous wash so that the sea and the sky blend into each other. I'm using a wet and wet wash, which means I'm applying the wet paint to an already wet paper and it gives it these really soft blended edges. If you want a sharper edge with watercolour, wet on dry is really the best method because it gives you a lot more control over how the pigment in the paint disperses. Because I wanted the sky to seem stormy, without ending up being too dark, I mixed my base colour using a base of ultramarine and intense blue. My top tip here is always to mix way more of your base colour than you think you're going to need, because then you don't have to go back and try and match the colour and mix it again, because I inevitably always run out before I've been done with it. Storms often have these faint yellowy purple hues running through them as well, so I dotted in some yellow ochre and some, a little bit of crimson and some burnt sienna. I deliberately left it quite uneven. Normally when I'm doing a wash, I want to use smooth lines to keep the colours fairly evenly mixed, but here I wanted to mimic the effect of clouds and raging water around the lighthouse. So I've left little fragments of the white pages showing through in places, so I hope I've achieved that effect. I mixed up some yellow ochre, some cadmium yellow, and a little burnt sienna for the golden light. I actually debated going in with a gold marker, but I decided that would look way too strong against the wash. The lighthouse itself is very traditional, comprising red and white stripes. I waited until all the watercolour was dry, then went in with my fine liner, adding in these very stylized waves and adding in the detailing on the lighthouse. And then finally I added the month and the calendar as well. Moving on to my next spread, which is my calendar page, I wanted to try something a little bit different this month. Because the previous page stretched across both the left and the right, I didn't actually get to do a quotes page, so I left the left side of this spread for that. On the right, I went in with my watercolours again to create a lighthouse running down the centre fold. While that was drying, I started working on my quotes page, and I have all of these gorgeous vintage style papers that I wanted to use, so I decided to create a collage for the background. I glued them in using my glue roller, then added my quote over the top, which was Be a light in the storm. 
I thought it fit with the theme so well, but I also really like the sentiment of the message too. I think it's something we can all aspire to, to bring a little bit of light to others. Now I'm done here and it's back to my monthly overview. The idea I had was to list all of the days of the month down the side of the lighthouse, then use the space beside that to fill in the events and things that are happening this month. I'm sure it's been done before, but I was really excited to try this, which is very different to my usual calendar spread. Moving on to my next spread, which is of course my trackers page. I used my watercolours again to create the lighthouse and I thought it could be really fun to create those very stylized waves and to fill one stripe in each day with a different shade of blue for how my day went. I also sketch out the little calendar boxes I normally use too for the habits I want to track this month, watering my plants, getting my five a day and all of those kind of things. The next spread is my scrapbooking page and again I'm going straight in with my watercolours to add in the lighthouse design. I love lighthouses. All the stories you read about them, they always seem kind of lonely and sometimes kind of dangerous places and I know in real life they're not quite like that but in fiction they always seem to just be a little bit magical to me. I also had this really lovely washi tape which I added too and it has these tiny little seagulls flying over water and mountains. It's all these gorgeous shades of blue and I just thought it was perfect for this theme.
My final spread for this setup is my first weekly spread. I've had a pretty busy time and I've got another crazy busy week coming up. So my first thought was to do a double spread utilizing a Dutch door. But in the end, I actually made a rolling spread across two sets of pages. I've seen these being done a lot by other awesome bullet journalers, but basically you fold the center page in half so you can always see the task list on the right hand page. It makes it really simple for me to see what needs to be done straight away without having to assign tasks to specific days. The doodles for this weekly spread are pretty straightforward too, just simple little white cartoon lighthouses which I coloured in using my brush tip markers. But I was also having so much fun with my watercolours, I actually ended up adding in a little scene at the bottom of the page. I wanted it to look a little bit like a framed painting, so I went in using wet and wet again for the background wash, then used a mixture of wet and wet and also some wet and dry to add in the cliff face and the lighthouse. Once that was all dry, I added in some detail with my fine liner, including a little boat, because you have to have a little boat in these kind of pictures, <laughs> and adding in the frame around it. I added in the final days and then I had a space left at the bottom of the right hand page so I decided to add a little quote and the quote I found is from a poem and actually called The Lighthouse and it is some days I'm the ocean some days I'm the ship tonight I'm the lighthouse at the edge alone and burning and I just thought it was a really beautiful sentiment and I thought it fitted very well with the theme as well so here is my final flip through. I really wanted to challenge myself by using skills that I wouldn't normally use in my bullet journal. The watercolor isn't perfect, but I'm so glad I set myself this challenge and overall I'm really happy with the end results. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Honestly, you have no idea what it means to me. Feel free to leave a like or subscribe to my channel if you do wanna see more of my bullet journal and artwork. Otherwise, thank you so much for checking out my March 2020 setup and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye lovelies.